Okay, 1949, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head-to-head -head score there. Wow, 6,200 games from my opponent, that's really impressive. Um, should I try a Sicilian this game instead of my normal Caro? Just for variety, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, so... It might go horribly wrong. Now, do I want to play the Gambit? Hmm. I'll take that. Oh, he didn't push the pawn. I was expecting the Gambit to come. So what's he playing here? I assume I do d6 and bishop up here, but I don't actually know for certain. Like I, say, I rarely play the Sicilian, just a little bit of variety, just to mix it up a bit. What I'm trying to do is just get castled on the king's side. So let's develop and do this. It feels like I've got an okay position, but I don't actually know. Um, with that, I'll play across just so there's potential to jump up. We might get this at some point. So let's castle. He's playing it like a bullet game, isn't he? He's gone too quickly. Let's try and gain a little bit of space. No. Do I want to do this? Takes, takes could be useful, but I don't think I do. I'm going to just try and gain a little bit of space. Yeah, he's playing it too quick, so we might catch him out, hopefully, at some point. We may not, of course. Hmm, how do we do it? I'm still looking at this idea, but takes, takes, I think f4 is still going to come. I'm just going to move my queen for now, connect the rooks, the option to jump across at some point. Okay, now I am going to play the knight across. I don't see where my opponent is from there. Okay. And we've got this option, we've got this option, we've got rook across. I've even got maybe knight across to jump in over. That looks interesting. It might provoke g3. You can't actually do g3 right now. So I'm going to play that just because g3 is not a move right now. Just to potentially jump in over. I might end up retreating, of course. Could be a waste of a move. And this bishop feels a bit loose here because of the potential power of the rook. So I need to shift the bishop somewhere. Rook across is a very natural move, but I like the rook here guarding the pawn for now. Hmm. Rook across, bishop down with a potential pawn push could be useful at some point. Not too sure. So he's played knight in, so knight across. Going to hit this bishop, and the bishop can't really escape. He might take here. Let's see if he does. It's just a case of which bishop comes off, or he's dropped back. Um, can I do something like this with an idea to take I'm looking at? Just don't want to drop this bishop, it's so easily done. F5 feels like a bad move. Rook across, I'm uncomfortable with this move. Hmm. I could try this sort of idea, I guess, but... Yeah, how do we do it? Well, I'm going to play rook across. It feels uncomfortable because queen and knight can target, so I might have to just end up going very quickly back because there is a, a basic concept here for white. <clears throat> I guess bishop up could be a move. Bishop here could be a move, but say rook might end up running straight back very, you know, relatively quickly here. And you've got to watch out for this idea as well to undermine the knight's support. Now he's played rook up, so happy to trade, I guess. Hmm. So here, it just kind of invites trouble, doesn't it? So what about this way, then? I'm going to go this way. I think he'll double his rooks up. But we're going to try and put some pressure on this pawn. But I've always got to watch out, like I say, for this combo that's likely to come. So we'll take one and we'll challenge the other. We could go with a queen, doesn't? <coughs> okay, so like I say, this is a little bit of a potential problem. I guess I've got e6. Takes, I can take back. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So he has actually kicked the knight now, because obviously we're now no longer threatening the pawn. 
So I can go back the way I was, or I can come back here. E6 feels a little bit slightly odd. Um, I don't see where I'm going after that. I can't really go forward at all. E6? Can I line up some sort of jump here? But there's nowhere else to really go. So I'm going to go this way to come back to a natural square. Maybe pressure the pawn. I can always shift this bishop somewhere and drop the knight back if needed. If pawn down, I can just go back where I was. Maybe queen in the corner actually to immediately pressure. I guess you've got bishop down, but then knight back. Yeah, I think white can still defend fine though. Or like I say, I'm still concerned about this concept. Gang up on this pawn. Hmm. But yeah, queen across is a potential to pressure the pawn, as is queen here to pressure this one potentially. So he's headed that issue off by dropping back. I'm just going to drop the knight back fairly quickly now. Two attack and two defend, but the knight feels like it's a more natural position now. We can still jump around. Ooh, so he's weakened this pawn, so that's kind of inviting me back. <clears throat> can I activate the queen first? I don't think I can. I've got this concept, I don't think it works. Um... How do I get my bishop into play? I'm not sure. I'm looking at a move like h5 now. Actually, yeah, I'm going to play h5. Just because these pawns have all advanced. I need to move this queen, it feels like. It feels like I do. So the knight's not going back there now. So we could jump the knight around like this. Hmm. How do we do this? How on earth do we do this? I like the idea of this sort of concept, I think. Um, I'm actually going to bring the bishop back and potentially go here. Just put some pressure on. Again, white's bishop's not doing much right now, but equally mine isn't, to be fair. So queen behind bishop up could be a nuisance move. Not easy to break through. Queen here, bishop down, bishop up is a potential. Just it feels like the white king is a little bit more open. Um, okay, so knight in is a bit of a problem that I've overlooked. So you've got this, I can drop back. Hmm. Not sure. I think I'm going to go queen here. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to drop the bishop back immediately to guard this pawn, ready for knight coming in. But keep the queen on this file. Queen across a trade seems fine. It might be worth something. It might be. But my queen can't jump forward easily now. Hmm. Bishop here, potentially sack. I'm not sure. Maybe I just shift the knight somewhere and go really bold with f5, but that feels really, really crazy. But it opens things up. King up and bishop up. There's all sorts of ideas. Let's just see when it's our move. Yeah, knight has come forward, so I was looking at bishop back here with a view to pawn up. Yeah, I don't want to burn all my clocks, so I'm going to drop back quickly. It's kind of an obvious target. If I push the pawn up, it restricts my bishop, so the idea of bishop up queen behind is kind of a bit lost. But it might break the tension a little bit, it might get a bit of material off the board, create a slight imbalance. I guess I've got the immediate knight back as well, but that might walk into issues like queen across. But knight back is guarded, but probably queen up first. 
Queen up knight back could be a move. Pawn up could be a move. Hmm. Actually, I've just realised bishop up and pawn down could be a slight problem at some point. Oh, he's trying to break it open. Okay. That could be a very good move, couldn't it? Um, cause I can't really guard that. Now, I do maybe have queen up here, and there's no actual knight move anywhere that guards the bishop. So, queen up takes, takes, or I can just take and then queen up. I think I have to take and maybe push the pawn. I might be wrong here. If the queen wanders off, eventually we might get round the back somehow, somewhere. But we could be just losing, of course. Of course we could. So I was looking at queen up here. Again, I've got knight back to challenge that knight. But this pawn is loose. Here, knight back is no good. Actually, yeah, I might have just blundered this completely. Because here, knight back. Ah, maybe I've then got queen up. I think I have to push there. Knight back, maybe queen up just for the temporary move with a threat of bishop up. Some sort of concept like that. But you can imagine if the queen were to get on the back rank, say my knight's wandered off, then white's got the same sort of concept as well. Hmm, I might have gone a little bit wrong here. But that's just chess. I'll get the cursor off the board so there's no slips. But yeah, knight b3, I'm looking at queen to d1. So he has dropped the queen back. Logical. So if I do this, it restricts my bishop from coming this way pretty much permanently. Knight here to challenge that knight could be a move. But say a queen across, I then can't move my knight because of my queen, but I could step up. Knight takes, bishop takes. My knight's not doing much where it is, so I'm going to challenge that knight. If queen across, queen up is my idea. If knight up, I can maybe get away with pushing up, I'm not sure. Maybe I'd have been better with the queen up immediately because the knight can't move anywhere where the bishop is, but you could easily drop the bishop back. So yeah, it feels like I need to try and simplify a little bit, doesn't it? It feels like I'm worse if I don't. If he takes, I'm going with the bishop. I don't want to trade the queen right here. It feels better for white with the two-on-one pawn structure. If knight back now, probably just pawn up with a view to potentially even pushing again. It does take, so I'll take back. And now this move does become maybe a little bit a little bit more attractive. We can try and develop our bishop at some point and use this score up here. Bishop down is a serious threat here. So I assume I just won't pawn up, so I'll do that fairly quickly. Maybe get on a light square. If bishop down, maybe get behind the bishop to pressure the pawn. Well, that's what he's gone for. So I can come here to threaten bishop up, or I can come behind the bishop. Um, I like the idea of going here just to potentially play a move like bishop up, and then pawn up and pawn up. Oh, well, that gives me pawn up with a tempo, does it? Oh, well, no, I don't want to trade the queen, so... I guess I could actually. Here, here, up, takes, takes... It's probably fine, but I don't know it's fine. What else can I do? That's a bit of a bunker, isn't it? But I'm going to risk it. I'm losing a pawn. I'll go here, I think, and try and push. Yeah, maybe I should have traded and tried to keep my pawn. Maybe. But it is a doubled up pawn, so it could be worse. Well, he has gone for it, so does it matter which one I do now? I can push here immediately. I don't like that though. I'm actually looking at this move. Um, here, 
bishop back I don't then get this move here check here now it feels wrong I'm gonna do this one with bishop back maybe I can just go here I've got to try and get my piece into the game feels like I'm going wrong oh what the heck oh I've just completely missed the mate threat what the heck have I done I've just completely forgotten of the checkmate threat there and I can't avoid it can I that's my only move I've just checkmated myself that is unbelievable well it's believable sadly but um, here you just take have I got bishop here or bishop here check up Well done here. It's just checkmate, isn't it? I can't move that bishop that way. It's checkmate here. Check up you take. Yeah, I've just checkmated myself. There's nothing I can do. I don't think it's possible to avoid it. I don't think it is. Let's go forward. One of those horrific blunders where you just you miss what's glaringly obvious as soon as your opponent sees it, it's there. Hmm, if he bishop takes I've got a check but you just shift your king and that's over isn't it? But it's not possible to even go here because it's checkmate. I mean obviously I could sack the queen but yeah I can't be bothered. Let's just end that one. Um, let's go to the engine and just see what it says. It was probably level when I've just made that silly blunder, so it's just one of them things it happens. Actually, I'm a little bit worse. A little bit worse, say. It was actually level when I've just made that crazy blunder. Yeah, just play the bishop up, and it's perfectly fine. I've just made that silly sloppy blunder, and it's just an automatic loss. Well, the engine is saying I could have played queen up there, but it's still plus six in it, so there's no point playing on in that position there, so... We will just end it there. What was it? 83% versus 92%.